As the Cross River State Government continues to execute laudable projects, paucity of funds is part of challenges frustrating the completion and project implementation plans. As such, Governor Basio too has decided to seek legislative backing to enable the state obtain a loan to address the decay in public infrastructure, including roads. It will be recalled that the Cross River State House of Assembly during sitting on the 21st February 2024 received a request from the state governor to access loan. The letter signed by the secretary to the state government, Professor Antonio Waneno, was read by the deputy clerk of the house, Catherine Ubi. The Honorable Speaker, Cross River State House of Assembly, Calabar, request for legislative backing for borrowings. I convey to Mr. Speaker and the entire legislature the warm regards and best wishes of His Excellency the Governor. Following the conclusion of capital projects to ameliorate the decay in public infrastructure, the Deputy awarded several contracts to build and rehabilitate roads in the state. After adoption of the correspondence as a document of the House, the request was committed to the Finance and Appropriation Committee for detailed consideration. Letters say that it will happen to us in the choice of the state that are selected and constructed in Carolina. Our governor has proven that his people first governor because the streets that have been cut off, our streets that have been abandoned for over 10 or 20 years. I can remember clearly, even when we came initially we were inaugurated in the past of the assembly, we know how assisting and struggling with that movement. Moving people every day to make sure that is what's possible. And today, the government has all the limited resources. And we can move through three roads with ease. The present government is doing very well, and I think that we should encourage them. The government of Cross River State has started with the upper area. My own appeal is that it is good to develop the upper area first. The chairman of the committee, Cyril Omini, recently reported back to the House, noting that the committee met with relevant stakeholders while highlighting committee's observation. It's a thing that I'm very careful and thorough consideration of the time of this transaction and the more benefits the transaction holds for the realization and maintenance of our rule, which have been a very liberal state, a committee that comments as follows. The loan is expected to aid completion of the road rehabilitation that has already commenced. The total look that Calabar is wearing today is something very commendable. Something very, very commendable. And I'm strongly believing that for this state government to come to ask for a loan, they would have hit the last call in their profile before coming to ask for this loan. Whereas they have a little more, I know and I strongly believe that they would have pushed even further again. What the government of the day is doing, if every other government in this country called Nigeria would do what the government of Russia State is doing, Nigeria would be a better place. Part of the resolutions reached by the Cross River State House of Assembly is that upon completion of the said facility, Updates on the road rehabilitation be laid before the State House of Assembly for information and necessary action, while relevant committee of the House will monitor implementation of this resolution and report back to the House accordingly. In Calabar, Uduak Etam, NTN News.